What is up, ladies and gentlemen? Bowman Jumbo number 27. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Good luck, everyone. We are going six and a six, 12 times. Freaking boxcars. All right, guys. Top four are going to fill us up on an eight spot mini on 12 times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12. 12 times. CEO, John, FW, and Wes. You guys are in. 1, 2, 3, 4. Bam. On 12 times. Here we go. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12. Phillies down to the Diamondbacks on 12. 12 times, and here we go. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12. A. Moyer down to Raw on 12. 12 times, 12 times, and 12 times. There it is, ladies and gents. There it is. All right. Phillies go to A. Moyer. Diamondbacks go to Raw. We got Orioles down to the Cubs. Reds go to Raider Farmer. Poker Ryan gets the Indians. Very nice, my man. John with the Detroit Tigers. Angels down to the Brewers. 22 Law with the Marlins. Very nice. Jizzo with the Pirates. West CEO like that. And my man Mike with the Blue Jays. All right, there it is right there. There it is, there it is. All right, here we go. 2022 Bowman Jumbo. Everyone gets a random team in green or one of the filler teams in pink. It's going to be 14 spots, 299, guys. 299. You got Indians. You got the double filler team, both out there. Detroit's not bad. Boston's out there. The Dodgers are big. Yankees are a $400 squad. 14 at 299. Freddie Freeman. I love me some Freddie Freeman, man. Freddie's the man. He's the freaking man. He is. I just, you know. Matt Olson is good. But I miss Freddie, man, a little bit. Computers like they some shooters. He won his fourth game of the year. Let me know if you find that, my man, DJ. What's up, Jonathan? How you doing, my dude? DJ. 
Jack. I knew I could count on you. Oof. Michael Chandler should kick the shit out of him. Michael Chandler should kick the shit out of him, in my opinion. I don't know. I guess we'll see. What's Ferguson ranked? Does anyone know? He's had to take a bit of a fall back, right? At least a little bit in his last couple fights. He had to fall back a couple spots, right? Purple out of 250, Salinas for the Padres. Sparkle out of 299, Valerio for the Brewers, Javi. 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 The Bowman channel, we rip a couple thousand cases of Bowman per year, smoky yeah. On average, we rip multiple cases per day to keep up our pace. That is correct. Seven. That's a bit higher than I expected. I'm not going to lie. It's a bit higher than I expected, number seven. Green out of 399 Cespedes for the White Sox. Verdugo for the Cubs base signature. Marcus Johansson. Ferguson definitely lost that first round a lot to a little. I don't know, maybe not. He did get the knockdown, but Chandler, as soon as he got him on the ground, was dominant. In my opinion, Chandler won. He won the round, I think. He dominated the ground the whole round. Not the whole round, but three minutes of it anyway. He caught him, though, with that one-two. He knows he's got to have a big round here, though. Take him down. That's how Rose is going to win, too, is if she gets her on the ground, bro. Oh, he knocked his ass out cold. Oh, God. Yo, he put him to sleep. Khalil Watson. Base auto. Yo, he slumped him. Yo, he's not moving, bro. He's not moving. I'm concerned. Yo, he might have severely just hurt this man. Oh, no. Like, that's what he's trying to do, but you could be a little bit more respectful than just backflipping. Like, Buddy's, like, unconscious right now. Out of 299, James Wood for the Padres. That might get fight of the night right there just for that knockout. Um, 
dude, he was put to sleep, D Jack. Like he still has not moved, bro. He's still laying down on the mat over there. Like this is not good. This man. Oh god, I don't even know if I want to see the replay, bro. He freaking good lord. He knocked his head clean off his shoulders. Sheesh. I mean, I'm pretty sure everyone knew Michael Chandler was going to win, though. He was a huge favorite. He was a huge favorite. Like, literally, he was minus 410 most of the day, I think. Minus 400. It, it was the lowest I've seen, I think. Dude, he timed that kick up perfectly. Yeah, he really, he could have got another shot in there before the ref ended it, but he knew he knocked his ass out clean. He could have hit him again with another shot before the ref pulled him off, but at least he was nice enough to do that, but Buddy is sitting up straight at least. Frazier for the Pirates. He said before the fight, bro, Ferguson hit him with two nice punches the first round, but after he got taken to the ground, it was over. We got 14 left on the next drop, guys. DJ, can you drop that line for me on YouTube, please, if you don't mind, my man? Out of 125, Montero for the Yankees. Ferguson might get cut by the UFC now, man. He's lost, what, three or four in a row? Plus, he complained about not being able to do other things besides fighting. Complained about his pay. He might get cut from the UFC, bro. He, he might be a goner, Brandon. He might be a goner. Out at 299, Alanio. Rest in peace, Tony. He knew he hit him clean and he was out for sure. He did do like six backflips on him. Not on him, but in the ring while homie was seen flying with the birds and shit. I can't believe people actually bet on Tony Ferguson to win. I wouldn't have. No way in hell. I put Michael Chandler in my parlay, actually. Chandler punted his head into the rafters, literally. <laughs> Yo, I haven't even seen freaking punters kick a ball that hard, bro. Like, this man got his head knocked off. Michael Chandler just called out Olivera or Gaethje. Angels out of 299 for the Padres. Sparkle Auto. Yo, that man Joe Rogan always has the best interviews post fight, though. I swear to God. UFC post fight interviews are the best sport interviews in the history of sport interviews. There's nothing better. The shit talk, the call outs, the hype, like it is just hilarious, bro. Some of the shit that they say after they win. Oh, man. Dude, it's so awesome. 
No problem, Pondale. Ferguson was just on the downfall, bro. And Chandler, he was poised for a big fight because he went to war with Gaethje in that three-round fight that Gaethje won in. But, dude, that was literally a UFC Hall of Fame fight. Literally, that might have been the best fight I've ever seen, maybe. The Chandler Gaethje fight, for sure. Sugar Sean! Let's go! The Sugar Show, baby! Who is that? Oh, Kamaru, yeah. Kamaru had to pull up for Gaethje, man. I really hope Gaethje wins. He's a pretty big underdog, but screw it. I got him on the money line in my parlay. Why not? Thug Rose hopefully wins, too. I just wish Ronda Rousey was still fighting. Honestly, she was the one that got me into the UFC in the first place. Ronda, probably. The first UFC fights I ever watched were Ronda Rousey fights. Against Holly Holm. Shoot. She freaking knocked out Cyborg quick, too, right? Or maybe Cyborg. Cyborg might have beat Ronda, actually. Who was the one that ended Ronda's UFC career when she went to the WWE? Was ah, shit, I don't remember. That was so long ago, man. That was a long time ago. Ronda had a hell of a run though. Out of 150, Acuna for the Twins. Very nice. True blue. Oh, that's not necessary, my man Pondale. It's not necessary, bro. I appreciate that, though, my man. You, you're a real one. Appreciate that, brother. Luis Rodriguez, purple. Formula One Racing. Was it Holly Holm? I remember Rhonda had one fight where she knocked that chick out in nine seconds. <laughs> Not as good as the Mazadov Ben Askren knockout, but pretty freaking fast, bro. Pretty fast. I remember that. Yeah, Nunez, she still holds one belt. And I. someone said she was fighting for the rematch against Pena on Ultimate Fighter. So I got to make sure to watch that, man. $4.99 Montgomery for the White Sox. My favorite female fighter now is probably... It has to be Rose, bro. Rose is just a savage. Base Auto, Rodriguez. Uh, you guys know who my favorite male fighter is. Gotta be Sugar Sean, but... I kind of want to go to Sugar Sean's next fight. I just wish they would announce when it's going to be already. Because he's supposed to fight two times this year, but he hasn't fought yet. Beth Correa is who... Rousey knocked out. Yeah, I don't even know who that is, which is probably why she got knocked out in nine seconds. <laughs> Yo. Boom. Knocked his ass out cold. Nunez. If it ain't about no money. I like Derek Lewis too, but he just got knocked out with that elbow by Tai Tuavasa. But honestly, like, I don't know. I'm so confused at what's happening with the heavyweight division because Nganu's the champ. But John Jones is coming back and fighting heavyweight, right, against Stipe. 
At least that's what the rumors are, right? He's going to fight Stipe. And then Ty Tuavasa's fighting Cyril Gain. So, like, if freaking Ty Tuavasa's ranked... Let's see. Ty Tuavasa's ranked in the top ten. Coming off of two top five knockouts if he beats Cyril Gain with a knockout, right? To me, you got to give freaking... Tie the title shot against Nganu over John Jones, bro. I know John Jones will sell the fight, but like, I don't know. I feel like Ty Tuavasa is damn close to a title shot. I feel like if he beats Cyril Gain, no question, he should be the next one in line to fight Nganu. For sure, 100%. Holly Holm and Nunez, Amanda Nunez buried Ronda. And now she gets paid millions by the WWE instead. He's leaving. Base auto, Vaughn for the Red Sox. He wants a new contract that bad he would leave. That would suck. Dude, I want to see the Nganu John Jones fight, man. How could you not want to see that? I feel like Nganu should definitely beat Tai Tuavasa. As soon as Ty Tuavasa wins, let's say John Jones fights Stipe. He's got to beat Stipe and then probably beat Cyril Gain. And then he could get a title shot, John Jones. So within a year. But what are the odds John Jones is going to be able to stay clean for a year? Not very freaking high. Out of 100, Gonzalez for the Orioles, Atomic Auto. He can vacate his title and leave to go somewhere that's going to pay him more per fight, I guess. I guess that would be the only reason he would leave, right? Ganu is trying to fight Tyson Fury. I mean, let's be 100% completely honest, bro. If Ganu fought Tyson Fury, his payday would be 25 times what it is in the UFC. At least 20 times, bro. We're talking 400,000 to 10 million. 5 million minimum. It, that's if he loses $5 million. Out of 150 Swinsuski, it's just crazy, man. The boxing game is a lot different. The money is a lot bigger bags in, the, in boxing, but...
I hope he stays too, man. If he fought John Jones, Roa for the Reds, that would be a top five UFC event in the history of the UFC if Nganu fought John Jones for the heavyweight title. Oh, 100%, Brandon, but everyone knew that McGregor was going to get destroyed by Floyd Mayweather, but, but they still both got a massive bag and put on a good show. Floyd whooped the shit out of him in a boxing match, and Fury would whoop the shit out of Nganu in a boxing match. That's just like 90% of the people in the UFC who are going to go try to fight Jake Paul if it ever happens, bro. Like, they're going to, you know, it's just different. It's not the same. You can't fight someone that's been training just boxing for the last five years Start that shit in six months and thank you about to win. Hell, six months is being generous. Jake Paul is a genius of not fighting people under 30 that actually box for a living. But, it, you know, he doesn't have that many fights either. So it's like he's just trying to build that shit up until eventually you'll probably honestly if I was Jake Paul I would just try to get a fight with McGregor and cash out bro cash out grab that bag and who even cares what happens after that you done made it you fight McGregor in a boxing match at any arena really because it's going to be massive Yeah, that's where he's been. I didn't know if he wanted me to tell everyone that on camera, Furry. That's why I didn't say anything, but... Yeah, he had um, quite the scare today, man. Flipped the quad over. Out of 100, Genovis for the Giants, Atomic Auto... There's no serious, serious, serious injuries currently. They're just both banged up pretty good. Maybe a few stitches and a couple of bruises and cuts and shit, but I think they're overall they should be fine long term. It's just a little painful currently. Out of 50, hassle for the Padres. Yeah, it's, the weather around here has been a little rough, and I guess they just hit a freaking slick spot, man, because it's rained, like, the last couple days in a row. But it was really nice outside today. Like, it was freaking 75, sunny, no rain. Beautiful outside. But the last three days in a row, man, our weather has been freaking terrible. So I guess they just hit a freaking slippery spot, man. And that shit, yeah, shit hit the fan. Oh, for sure, Brandon, 100%. At a 2.50, Laura, purple... 499 Jackson blue for the Brewers. You guys want to run another Bowman action, boys? Let's see another Bowman case. Let's go, Thug Rose. Thug Rose is the champ. 
Oh, for sure, furry. For sure, man. Luckily, they both had helmets on in the whole nine. And Ganu really only would have to land one punch, though, bro. In a boxing match, it would only take one. Tyson would be like, oh, shit. This man can hit. One punch, bro. I'm telling you, that's all it would take, man. Let's go, with Doug Rose. Thank you, Djacula. Doug Rose, baby, come on. Is minus one seventy? No, minus two ten. So she's a pretty big favorite here. Enriquez for the Rangers base auto. Max Muncy out of three ninety nine for the A's. Five five. So she's got two inch reach advantage, four inch height advantage. Five round fight, right? Championship fights are five rounds. Fury moves very well and is a super, super good defensive boxer for how freaking big he is. Like, that guy is freaking a massive human being. But he's very elusive, man. He's hard to hit. For, I mean, that guy's massive. He's what? Six? What? Six five? He's got to be up there. Out of two ninety nine, Bradley for the Rays. Sparkle. Shoot, he might be taller than six five. That dude's freaking massive. It's a big dude, man. Let's go, Rose. Let's go, Rose. Doug Rose, baby. Doug Rose! Knock her ass out. Hit her with that kick, man. That kick she hit Zhang Wei Lee with, that's what we need again. Put her ass to sleep. Out of 250, pie. Dude, it, this is such a weird sport, man. It's like the only sport where I cheer for someone to get hurt and then I instantly feel bad when they're laying there, like, unconscious. I'm like, oh, shit. What up, Mufasa? Chrome Prospect Auto Atomic Variation Parallel Triento. 
goes for the Cubs, A. Moyer. Out of 399 Kinney for the Rays. Let's go, Rose. Come on, guys. Give me a few fulls on the Bowman, and I'll do a mini. I need a few fulls, though. Moran. Is Moran okay? Is he going to play the next game, you guys think? Sparkle free lick for the Brewers. Base auto, Genovis for the Giants. Yo, this first round has sucked. I don't even think they've thrown a punch yet. Miss, miss. Franco out of 99 India. Pondole, my man Pondole. Out of 499 Casas for the Red Sox. The real winner in round number one. No one currently. There's two minutes left, though. Get her ass, Rose. Deck her ass. Boom, boom. There you go. Hit her with the one, two. Bow, bow. Come on. Lightning hands, baby. There you go. What up, M.A., my man? Celtics mounting a comeback. Don't get caught, Rose. You're winning this round right now, Rose. Don't get caught. Out of 299 Contreras for the Reds, Sparkle Auto. Come on, to the ground. Twenty five points. Oh, 
I'm going to answer that. I mean, that's all I got to say. I mean, it's not like he got me down low as far as my shooting motion. I thought it was three free throws. They said it wasn't. Let me give me any explanation. So you, you know, I went to ask him. 1 0 Thug Rose. 1 0 Thug Rose. Let's go. Out of 99, Ian Lewis for the Marlins. Green paper. Spraza keeps getting hit with that right, man. Base auto, Bradley for the Rays. Let's go, Rose. We got 13 left, guys. Give me two or three more and I'll do a mini. Two or three more and I'll run a mini. Let's run it back, baby, like Bo Jack. Auto Khalil Watson. I've been pulling this dude nonstop, man. We are on a run of cases with Khalil Watson everywhere, boys. Everywhere. Get your spots in the next one so I can keep my streak going here. That's like six or seven cases in a row with a Khalil Watson, man. Pete Crow Armstrong out of 199 for the Cubs. Sparkle out of 299 Hernandez for the Rays. Pink out of 299 Vargas for the Brewers. I'm telling you, man, I pull crazy Khalil Watsons. Like, that's one good guy to have stalking me, finally. Khalil Watson. We've been pulling hella Khalil Watsons. We got 13 left, 13 left. Two in this case, baby. Sparkle Muncie for the A's.
right now it looks to be 2-0 Nama Yunus. Out of 250, Marte for the Mariners. She's using her length and not even letting this chick hit her. Like, she can't even get a leg kick right now, Espraza. Now, I mean, Eunice ain't getting close enough, man. It's not a bad game plan. Base auto, Ernesto for the Brewers. Two O Nama Unis in my opinion. Out of ninety nine De Castro for the Blue Jays Green. We got a Quintana out of one twenty five for the Nationals. Avalanche dominate early. For sure. The Hurricanes are balling too. Carolina Hurricanes, baby. He need, she needs to take her to the ground, man. Leo Nord for the Dodgers. Twenty-two is in. Thank you, my man. Twenty-two. Epicenter. Rose is just fighting careful how she knows she's going to win. Like, she's up 2-0 right now because this other chick can't hit her at all. Like, she hasn't been punched one time. Stuff the knockdown. Blocks the kick. Hits her with a right cross. Like, she's just dominating right now. Dominating. Her defense is perfect, except for that. Oh, shoot. She got the takedown right back up, though. Ooh. There you go, D-Jack. You got some action now, D-Jack. There you go. Come on, boys. Two or three more, and I'll run a mini. Hmm. That hurt. Espraza is winning this round for sure right now. Fifty hassle for the Padres. Walk her down, Rose. Walk her down. Capitals cruise by the Panthers. Ooh. 
Oof, there you go. That uppercut landed. Dominguez. Khalil Watson. We had a Triantos Atomic. All right, last stack here. the break let's do the next one boys let's do the next one hell yeah yeah